Okay, great morning. It is Thursday, the uh, 18th. It was raining last evening, had some nice thunder. I love the sound of rain when you're resting, okay? Well, looks like the uh, phony reports coming out today. <laughs> Trump already knows what it says. I guess he's tweeting up a storm. I haven't read the tweets yet. Okay. Then they had the thing about North Korea says they've got a big missile now with a big warhead on it. And uh, in other words, Trump, you got played. We didn't stop anything, okay? And don't say next and and next time don't send that stupid Pompeo over here, okay? Don't send that idiot over here again, okay? We won't talk to him. Send somebody else. Uh, yeah, me thinks that uh, Kim Jong Un's getting a little too full of himself. Okay. So it will be nice to get a new president in that's going to stand up to this idiot. And if he'd just let him have it and say, we're, we're not dealing with that. Sanctions are going. Okay. They need to put double the sanctions they've got now on him. Say, okay. Okay. You want to say you played us? Okay. You think you had sanctions before? So, yeah. Okay, let's see what we have this morning. Let's just start here with the <laughs> oppression card. Okay, oppression. Or as I like to say it, the grand pity party. The card of the grand pity party. Restriction, exhaustion, depression, depleted resources, feeling cut off, punishment, confinement. Okay. They've got the grand pity party going, the oh, woe is me card. Nobody knows the trouble I seen. Nobody knows but Jesus. Okay, the pity party card. Okay. So if you get down in the doldrums, the pity party, you got it going, and, you know, people lead that parade for a time, and they get a lot of followers for a time, until even then, they, you know, the, the people get harangued by this pity party drama, where they finally say, okay, I've had enough, I can't listen to this anymore. <laughs> okay. So... 
The thing people need to understand about the grand pity party and suffering is that you are a free spirit. You know, this knife cuts both ways. Being a free spirit, we're free to suffer. We're free to have the grand pity party for as long as we want to beat that drum, okay? So being a free spirit and having choice, okay, we need to understand and sometimes take a little space, take a little space, give yourself some space and really start to look at things. When you're in the grand pity party, then start to develop the lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Now, you know people that are in the grand pity party, where is their focus? Are they focused on others? Are they focused on, you know, a gen being generous of spirit? No. They got a single focus. Me, 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 my, 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 woe is me, woe is I, and that's it. Okay. So if you're feeling cut off, develop a family clan. And I don't mean a family clan of more pity parties. <laughs> and that's what they gravitate, gravitate to. Misery loves company. And that's how they get started on all of these conspiracy theories and all these dramas. They are unhappy, okay, miserable people, and they want to make a family clan of others that are miserable and unhappy people, okay? <laughs> but you can get out of it if you start to get some rain, clean it off, wash it off, purification, okay? You need to purify the mind. You need to clean it and see that you have choice. You need to start to get a little playful, okay? That does not mean imbibing the magic mushroom or alcohol or drugs of any sort, okay? Because they will take you for a time, you know, make things, things, things seem wonderful, but again, take you to a point of being cut off, oppressed. Okay. So stay away from the drugs. Get into some healthy playfulness. See that you do have a choice, you know, Get there, take a, take a shower. See all this stuff just going down the drain. Now I do have a thing up there that shows how to do it. You know, let into the ground, whatever it is of your pity party that you've got going, the woe is me, see it going into the ground and taking in from the top of the head joy, taking in the good things of life. <clears throat> but you got to be willing to let go of the grand pity party first. Okay. Have a good wolf clan, a family clan, uh, people that are positive around you. If you're with the negative Nellies, wah, 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 you might want to change your environment to something more positive. If you're with those that are grousing about something continually, they will keep you in that box. Untie the box, climb out, and find something better. Be generous of spirit. Rather than saying, I'm owed, give me, I want, you know, be generous of spirit. Okay, take some space. Give yourself some breathing room. Understand you're a free spirit, even free to continue to suffer as long as you want. Okay, 
And it's not that people love suffering. That's not why they do it. It's something that's familiar. Okay, it's familiar. To let go of suffering can be frightening for some people. Okay. But take the plunge, you know, let go of it, move forward in your life, and you will be a much happier person in the end, okay? <laughs> oh, mercy, I can't wait to see what kind of falderall that uh, Barr is going to try to spin with this. They've got everybody lined up already with what's going on, trying to spin it. And um, this is not going to be a happy day. <laughs> That's okay. Democrats are on it already. It looks like they are going to call Mueller. They're going to get it straight from the horse's mouth. The one that did it, you know, that put everything together. Because clearly they cannot rely on Barr. Barr is working for Trump. He is not working for the people. He is not being an AG. He is being a lawyer to Trump. And that is not his job. So it looks like they're going to have to talk to Mueller. So let's hope that comes about soon. I don't know why they waited this long to subpoena Mueller to talk to him about this. Really, they shouldn't wait so long to do that. Um, so we'll just have to watch and see what happens, you know. <laughs> but uh, eventually, it's all going to come out. It will see the light of day, okay? It's going to eventually get leaked out. It will, we will see the light of day with it. You know, he can try to hide it as much as he wants, but he's not going to be there forever. Don't forget, this too will pass. Okay, we will get rid of Barr, and things will get known and put out. Okay, so we're going to leave this here. Please, everybody, just take a breath. <sighs> And it doesn't matter how bad they spin it, because the more they spin it, okay, the more unrealistic it is, the more we know is hidden, and the more we go after it to open it up, okay? And then those that were there trying to spin everything, they will go down in history with a very, very bad name. Throw away your reputation. Go ahead. What the hell? Barr's already done that before anyway. He's already done a big spin with something and hit everything. This is nothing new for him. Okay. He's been a snake before. When he was young, he was a snake. I forget what the report was. What was another report that he spun and hit everything? And yeah. So anyway, we're going to leave this today. I'm going to try to get this uploaded. It's going to take a long time <laughs> today. It's very, very slow. So I will see you online. Have a great day. Aho.